Hi, this is Evan Rubin at Lark, and this is part two of a tutorial on creating interactive questions using PowerPoint. In the first part, we looked at the end result, how, to, how the question will look and how the interactions are, and we started talking about hyperlinks, which is most important to create the interactions where you can change slides. So let's create an interactive question right now. I'm going to erase this. So first we need a question. I'm going to say click on the blue star. Now we need to create some stars up here in the drawing tool. We can create a few stars. There's one, there's two, and there's four. I need one of them to be blue and now I'm going to change the others. I double clicked on these um, to so these colors will appear up top. Now I'm going kind of fast so I encourage you to use the pause button and uh, try and follow along and even create a question as uh, I go along. So now we have the question and I have one correct answer and three incorrect answers. So uh, the next thing I want to do is copy the slide over to the left. I'm going to duplicate the slide and now this second slide is going to be my correct slide. The first slide is my question. The second one will say correct. I'm going to do it a little effect right now. Um, it's just going to create a little film over the slide to make it look like I've uh, answered the question and these are the results. Um, I created a solid box. I'm going to right click and go to format shape and I'm going to change the color to black and I'll put the transparency uh, to about 40 and so it just creates this film over this slide and it looks like I've answered it now I'm going to create a box that says correct here we go I'll center it a little bit and I'm going to write correct I'm going to make it a little bigger maybe that's good and I can you know do some fancy things with the letters if I want and then I'll need an arrow which later I will um, I'll make a hyperlink out of this I'll need an arrow that will say next question next and I'll change that color to orange okay so we have two slides now one is the question one is the correct now we need the incorrect box so I'm going to right click over here to duplicate the correct slide and all I have to do is change this to incorrect and I need another arrow that shows it going back because we want to say try again try again and I'm going to change this color also to maybe red incorrect try again Okay, so we, now we have all three of these slides. So the next thing is creating the hyperlinks. So first we'll start with the correct one. This is the correct star. I'm going to right click it and go to hyperlink. You'll see up here, this is where you would put in a web link, but we don't want a web link. We want a place in this document. And we need it to go to slide 7 and there it is we just press on slide 7 and OK and the rest of these are going to be incorrect and that will go to slide 8 OK slide 8 hyperlink slide 8 and hyperlink slide 8 OK then in the incorrect slide we need this try again um, to go back to slide 6 or the question so the students can try again so I'm going to right click it hyperlink and I want it to go to slide 6 and in the correct slide uh, we can have it go to the next question which would be 9 uh, which I created earlier so if the students get it correct they can go to the next question which is slide 9 Okay, let's take a quick look and see if it works. Click on the blue star. I'm going to click on the green one. Incorrect. Try again. This one. Try again. Yay, correct. And now we're at the next question.